Hello, and welcome to the first night of our review of fifth grade mathematics. And so I'm going to be looking at the three problems that we have today that you found on my blog post that was on my website, AaronDaffron.com. The fifth grade math review, day one, these items are taken from the 2017 released star test from the state of Texas. And so I'm just going to be explaining how to solve these answers and also not just showing you the correct answers because those are easy to find, but also showing you why the incorrect answers are wrong and how uh, certain people probably got those incorrect answers. So if you have any questions, hey, Carlos, how are you? Uh, go ahead and just put those in the, um, put those in the uh, comments section and we'll go ahead and get started here. So the very first task was to... Uh, get going on the number 18 of the uh, 2017 release star test. And really what that, is, what that is looking at is how to round decimals. Now rounding is not anything that is new. For fifth graders have been rounding for a while, but now we're rounding. Uh, in this case, we're going to the nearest hundredth. So what we have to look for here is we have 9.375. And so, really, I'm just going to write that down here, 9.375. And so, what we're looking at is, we've got to look at the hundredths place. And in order to find the hundredths place, what we need to make sure that we've got is we have the hundredths place underlined right here. Oh, so when we're looking at the hundredths place, let me just check to make sure we're good here. When we're looking at the hundredths place, what we need to do is we're always looking to the number to the right. That's going to let us know what happens to this hundredths place. So this right here is our tenths, and this is our hundredths. Oh, it's you, Adrian. All right, I was wondering, Carlos, I thought was a bit too old for this, but good to know that you're there, Adrian. This is our hundredths place. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and put it in the chat. And really, we're looking at the thousandths place. It's this thousandths place. That's what's going to get us to figure out whether this hundredths place goes up or down. Remember, five or more makes the number go up. And then four or less makes the number go down. And so really this 5 is going to make this 7 go up. And so we're looking at 9.3. This 5 is going to make the 7 go up. So that's going to go to an 8. Now the big question is what happens to this 5? It becomes a 0. And then most likely what happens after you go ahead and drop that 0, since it's after the decimal point, we're just going to erase it. So let me just erase that here. And we can actually just call it 9.38. So our correct answer actually is G, but let's look at some of the other options and how some of you got that. That's a pretty simple one to get started with. If you got 9.40 or 9.4, what you ended up doing was probably you rounded it to the wrong spot. If you round it to the tenths spot, then that seven is gonna make that plus one, and so that's gonna be 9.4 and that would work, but that's going to the tenths spot. This 9.37 is actually, well, it's rounded to the correct spot. It's just didn't use the five in the correct spot. It thought for some reason that this 9.37, it thought that the five went down, and so it just dropped it and it made a 9.37, but that's incorrect, that's incorrect. 9.47, no idea. If you got this, then you are probably guessing because there's not really any good reason to select that. So hopefully you got G as your correct answer. Adrian got it correct. Excellent. So that was a fairly easy one to get started with. Let's go ahead and let me grab the next problem real quick. All right. All right, so let's hide this here, and we're going to get into our second problem. 
All right, so our next problem is right here. A scientist, it's number two, and we're dealing with the same type of thing. Uh, we are looking at decimals, but now we're comparing and ordering. So we have two numbers here. We have the same digits, 13.068, 13.608. So really your only question is right there. What happens with a zero? What happens with a six? And now we're going to do greater than, less than, or equal to. I love that they put a plus sign as J. There's no way to get a J because they just needed a fourth option. So they just gave you as a plus sign. Hopefully you didn't do that. So we have greater than and less than. We know that this is a less than this G right here because you can actually turn that into an L to make it less than. So you can know it's a less than even without having numbers on the other side, which means this is going to be a greater than. And so this is also probably a gimme problem. You'd want to get this one right because when you're looking at um, these two numbers, you're going to just basically, we're going to, let's line them up here. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So 13 and 68 thousandths, and then we're going to do 13 and 608 thousandths. Now, when you are comparing them, you always start with the largest place value. So the tens place, they're the same. The ones place, they're the same. Your problem here is the tenths place. That's where the difference comes. This 6 obviously is going to be greater than the 0, which means it doesn't really matter what happens after there. You could have 13.099 and compare that with this 13608. Once this 6 in the tenths place is larger than the 0 in the tenths place, it doesn't matter if the digits afterwards are larger. It doesn't make any difference. So this is our bigger number right here. So remember in first grade and second grade, we learn to make the little alligator teeth always eat the bigger number. It is kind of silly, but it helps you remember. So it is going to be less than. So if you wanted to read this left to right, you would say 13 and 68 thousandths is less than. And then you would say 13 and 608 thousandths. Our answer is G. Hopefully you guys got it correct. Let me know in the comments if you did. Now we're going to get into one that's a little bit trickier. That one was really not too difficult. Let me grab this last one right here. Got to get this layer. There we go. We're going to delete this. Hide this. And let's grab... There we go. New layer. Okay, so this is the last one for this evening. Unless you have any questions. So this is number 25. Remember, this is all from the, the 2017 released star test. And so what we're looking at here is we are looking at which numbers show does not. So here's my question right here is we need to show which one does not show an order from least to greatest. And so what that means is that means that three of them actually do show the list from least to greatest. And so that's going to be the trick right there. So let me grab this over here. And so what we're going to look at first is we're going to find the three lists that actually do have the list in the correct order, and then we're just going to find the one that doesn't work. And so I need to figure out exactly why I cannot write right now. And so let me just add a new layer here. We'll see if that does the trick. All right, give me just one second.
All right, sorry about that. Sometimes you get technical difficulties, and for some reason this program that I'm using, Autodesk Sketchbook, pretty good, but sometimes it has some issues. So we're looking at these lists, and they went ahead and put it in capitals, but it is tricky because it's asking you for the one that is not in order from least to greatest, which means three of these are. Here's the trick with this. You've got some numbers that go to the thousandths place, the hundredths place, and the tenths place. If this is going to make any sense, what you need to do is you've got to make every single number go to the same place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite each of these. I'm going to say 4.036 is less than 4 and 8 hundredths. And I want it to make it go to the thousandths place. So I'm just going to add a zero. You can always add zeros after a decimal without changing its value. So this 4.2 right here. 4 and 2 tenths is really 4 and 200 thousandths. Those are equivalent. 4.2 is the same as 4 and 200 thousandths. Once you've got that, then everything else is simple. So we're looking at this, 4201. Once every single number goes to the exact same place value, it's pretty simple. You're going from least to greatest. So it's 4444. Four, four, four. That's pretty simple. So you're looking at the decimal. 36, 80, 200, 201. That is in order from least to greatest, which means that is not our answer. We're going to do the same thing here. 3.09, I'm going to add a 0, is less than 3 and 1 tenth. Let's make it 3 and 100 thousandths. And then we've got 3.607. And then we've got 3.9. I'm going to make that 3.900. And so everything is 3, so that's pretty simple. So let's just look at what's in the decimals. 90, 100, 607, 900 looks good to me. And so now we're going to go to this next one, 6.4, add some zeros. Remember, you can always add zeros after the decimal. can't necessarily add zeros if it's in front of the decimal because you don't want to make a 6 into a 60 or a 6 into 600. But after decimal is fine. 6.387, 6.995. So it's all 6, 6, 6, and 6. So we're looking at 400. We're looking at 510. And we're looking at, oh, that looks like it could be a problem. Let me get rid of this down here. That 387 looks like it's out of order. That 387 is not less than 510. So I believe this is going to be my answer, but I would be very foolish if I were to circle that as my answer when I have not checked my final one. Let's go ahead and check my final one. Let me get rid of this right here. All right. So let's check 7, 3, 15. I'm going to make 7 and 38 hundredths into 380 thousandths. 7.406 works for me. And then finally, 7 and 5 tenths is 7 and 500 thousandths. And so 7, 7, 7, 7. So I'm just looking at my decimals. And I've got 315, 380, 406, 500. That goes in order. So that is not it, which means my answer is C. So hopefully you got our three answers Correct. Remember, our first answer uh, was for problem. I'll go ahead and write it right here. Our first answer was for problem 18. And remember, 9.375, the answer was G. Uh, remember, the second problem was number 2. And we said that 13 and 68 thousandths was G less than. And then on number 25 was C. The reason I want you to keep up with this is because this is day one of 12. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and write those in the comments real quick. And I'll um, go ahead and answer those before we log off for tonight. But this is day one of 12. There are 36 questions on this test. So as you can tell, we're going to do three questions a night. I'm going to do this for three weeks, Monday through Thursday. So we will uh, finish in a few Thursdays in April, but if you keep track of your answers and you just write it down, go ahead and just take out a piece of paper and number it 1 to 36 and you've already got three answers down. you got number 2, you've got number 18, 
and then we just did 25. And you can kind of keep track and see how you would have done if you would have taken this as the actual star test. So if you guys have any questions, I'll stay on for just a moment and you can go ahead and type those in the chat. If not, it's good to see uh, Adrian and it's good to see Priscilla here. And if you guys uh, have any friends that might benefit from this, um, this particular stream will now be a part of that uh, blog post that I have. You can just get on AaronDaffern.com and then on the top right there's a menu that says blog and then you can find the actual uh, post that has this and I will put this live stream video in that blog post. So it looks like we don't have any questions so thank you guys for checking it out tonight and remember tomorrow morning you're going to have three brand new questions and I'll be on at eight o'clock tomorrow night to go over those questions. They will be a little bit harder tomorrow. They're not going to be as easy as today. So thank you so much and I will see you guys tomorrow.